Abortion is a very sensitive topic in Africa, especially Nigeria. I'm joined by uh, Barrister Samuel Kole, a legal based lawyer, Pastor Mrs. Ebere Onwura, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and my beautiful co host, Cyprian. Welcome, everybody, to Afro Issues. Thank, thank, thank you. It's my pleasure. So over to you, uh, Barrister Samuel. It said that abortion in most countries is illegal. So is it also illegal in our country, Nigeria? Yes, abortion is illegal in Nigeria. The criminal code and the penal code, which are the two major laws in Nigeria, regarding northern and southern Nigeria, expressly criminalize and penalize abortion in Nigeria. So it makes it an unlawful act, and there is punishment for whoever carries out such acts. Okay, that's a very Christianity made us to see abortion as an evil act. Why is it considered evil? What well, is um, considered evil because God from the beginning when he gave man the Ten Commandments in Exodus 34, the Bible categorically told us do not kill. Now what is abortion? Abortion is the deliberate termination and evacuation of growing life from the mother's womb. So that violates that commandment that says, do not kill. So in the case of, uh, in, uh, where, in the case where the woman's life is in danger, do you still consider abortion the same? In the case of where um, a woman's life is in danger, God wouldn't want to lose the woman and as well lose the baby. Okay, so it becomes expedient that you do what is needful. If the person's life is in danger, that is understandable. Okay, but in the case of um, what we are treating, I find that oftentimes the abortion in question is what um, growing young girls indulge into as a result of getting themselves involved in illicit sexual activities that you know, gets down to pregnancy and they want to go and abort. Okay. okay, where the woman is a married woman and there is a threat to life, of course, you, she can terminate the pregnancy. About abortion being illegal and not legal. Yes. So what if the case of endangering the woman's life is in danger? Like, can you still consider abortion as an illegal act? There is a saying that says any rule without an exception is no rule. Okay. You understand? So even the criminal code and the penal code that penalize abortion make exceptions. The exceptions here you can abort a child. Okay. Under such exceptions you have waivers that you will not be punished under such circumstances. Okay. okay. Is there any any report for someone to like take to the hospital and be like or fame or something. No, so no, no, no. There is not. Those are within the exclusively within the right of the doctor to give his report. If the life of the child, of the parents, okay. of the mother is in danger, the doctor cannot give his professional advice on that. So, are you saying in the case of uh, like the Down syndrome of a, or a topic pregnancy, abortion is it the best option? No, there, are, there, are, there is a distinction between Down syndrome and ectopic pregnancy. Under ectopic pregnancy, the baby grows out of the uterus. Okay. While Down syndrome, the baby is still within. Yeah. You understand? Just that when you give birth to the baby, the baby will not be normal, and normal children have a right to live. Yeah, when yeah. a topic pregnancy, you are endangering the life of the mother. As so well child, as the baby, because the like, baby yeah. will not even survive. And we, After we, a we, while. we cannot be iron class, certain mm -hmm. on that. Mm -hmm. There are instances where a baby will survive. Where the mother will die, the baby will still survive. Do you understand? How will the baby survive when it's growing out of the womb? Yeah. You know, there's no attachment where the baby gets nourishment. I don't you know, know, science has done a lot of things. So we will not start questioning science, but strictly speaking, under ectopic pregnancy should be aborted. Okay. You understand? And I don't know if this is outside the purview of my question, but I also think that generally, mm -hmm. generally, a woman should decide, she has a complete autonomy over her body to decide whether she can have the baby or not. Just like she okay. can decide whether or not she should have sex or not have sex. No, well, if you ask me on that, I, I don't think so. I don't tell your mind. You know, because um, I should think that even from the cultural point of view, okay. sex outside marriage is not permitted. 
You shouldn't get it. If you don't want the baby, why have the sex? Now, now, you know? now, now, you will not, nobody should tell a full fledged adult what to do with his life, socially speaking. You can't ask a girl who is 18 or who is 25, uh, who is no, responsible no, with her life, no, no, no. whether she should have sex or not. If terminating I, somebody's life. The difference between a life and a fetus. No, no, no. There no, are no, two no. distinct things. Are you we, should saying, not, we should not marry are them. Are you together. saying that fetus is not human? No, it's not. Fetus. If you were not, terminated as fetus, would you be here? If my mother has the right to decide whether I should leave, as at the time I was inside her tummy. She has the life. If I, if, have been no, here. if I if she realized that ah, this baby is not going to give me joy or she does not have the ability to take care of me, she has the right See, to determine whether. Let's not whether treat fetus as is, non-human. I keep I because keep, it I is keep. the fetus that have brought all of us as human beings. And so if you terminate fetus because according to some people it's just blood, then that is cruel. That is not that shouldn't be permitted. I don't I don't not I don't I don't, I don't I don't I don't line strictly speaking because when I look at the laws I look at the religious angle because I'm I'm still from a Christian background. I've gone through the Bible, I've not seen that Bible so okay, don't terminate the Bible. Go baby. and read Exodus thirty four. Bible says do not kill. Nah, do not but kill is do not kill is different from not kill if we to or not terminate if we to that is the and lie. And if as at that time is not a is lie. Not, is not you now you can have a baby, eh? You can have a baby as at the age of twelve months, as at the age of uh, five months, the baby has not fully formed. As age of one month, and you baby, know that babies survive even from five months. They are incubated okay, let's, and they, they let's grow assume that and so at the age of one the, month, the baby has the not gestation. survived. At the age of one month, the baby has not survived. But the baby is alive. It's, the life that, is that there. That is why the baby has not survived. Just like a woman can have a baby the and baby have has five survived. months. Don't say you are the one that cut short the life. That when is why, you can as at that time, as at that time, the baby cannot live without me. So she's still tied to me. She's still tied to the mother. So whether or not, decide whether as, or not, don't forget that you did not create that life. That life was created no, by no, God. No, strictly speaking, if I had, if I, if a, a woman decides to have unprotected sex, at the baby form, or the, the fetus starts growing, she can, as at that time, terminate it. The only time she cannot terminate it is when the baby comes out and the person now can live distinctly from the mother. I think that I think that is the reason why why, but, why people have gone ahead with illicit sexual activities and at the end of the day you just know that after all if I get pregnant I can terminate it is not yet a human being. But that is a human no, being. No, no, the reason why the reason why Nigeria should bring a law abolishing the illegality of abortion is simple. Now you can have a fifteen year old girl who is not qualified to have sex in the first instance. Out of poverty, owing to circumstances, owing to lack of education, owing to plethora of other reasons joined together, she decides to have sex and she has a baby. You know that this lady cannot take care of the baby. So this, why this, get involved in sex? Like no, it's baby. not half. If you can't take care of that the is baby, why I, why? I, that is, that okay, is the reason why I call. Let's look at it from this view. Like we all know, rape is a very terrible act. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was coming to that too. In that process. What if, if the, the victim gets pregnant, do you think she has the right to keep the baby? That is one major reason why because a, lady, comes a, a, lady who, trauma. a lady who is raped should not keep the baby for any reason. Now, why? let me Because come, once the, the sex was forced, okay. was against her own will, two, she does not know the paternity of the child, three, she will not love the child ordinarily, four, the trauma of that child living will keep wanting Can her. Can I come from five, this angle? Five, the, num the, the fifth one is that why do you keep something that you know you never wanted to keep? It was Can I come from this angle? Okay. When a girl gets raped, okay. you know that there's the possibility of pregnancy. Okay. Why wait for pregnancy to occur? If you're raped today, go to the why not go to the doctor and have your system cleansed up so that there is no issue of pregnancy in the first place. Do, do, do you know why? Do you know why you can speak like that? Because why you have access to education. So you have access to medical facilities. So I should are ladies, say that we are should create more awareness. Yes, there are ladies who the do not. The same way we take our time to so flaunt the use the permission to use condoms on the radio stations, on the TV stations. Why don't we also, you know, take time to educate our girl children 
Why don't you educate people the same way we, we, you know, you see family planning all over the TV, the radio station. Why don't we do the same thing? You have sex with the woman. You <laughs> so enjoy, he was not that, trying that was, to. That's what I'm saying now. When you enjoy sex with the so woman. God did not punish him because wait, he was trying wait. to apply contraceptive. No, no, no that, is why God, that is why God punished him because he did not want to impregnate the woman. No. When, when you have sex with a lady, you do that for the purpose of enjoying yourself with the lady. You understand? Your wife. A man is allowed to take her over the wife, wife of but the bride but that, in the incidence of yes, death. Yes, but in, at that time, he has not married the woman fully. No, for him to, God, see, the God we're talking about is a God that does not allow disorder. For him to be allowed to that woman is because he was the next in line to marry that woman. So, he, he was accepted as the woman. Okay, husband. for one reason or the other, he prevented pregnancy. And God has to punish him for that. He wasn't preventing pregnancy. So, in fact, well, 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 religiously speaking, if, it if was of... He just was wicked. <laughs> he okay. was just wicked. He no, didn't want to have children. But, but you agree with me that, okay, he sorry, want to have, sorry, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm sorry, you, sorry you, to you, cut you okay, short. Let us, let us. <laughs> if I may come in, I, I believe uh, we know that religion frowned at the use of contraceptives. But we, we know you can't stop one from having sex. So why don't you use contraceptives to religion avoid does them? not. There okay. is no scripture, not one scripture that says you should not, you know, um, how do I put it? There's no one scripture that says you should just go ahead and keep having babies. Okay. Not one scripture. In fact, what about if the you read, God says you should multiply and so increase the world. He said multiply and, and replenish. He did not say only you as a barrister should have 50 children. <laughs> he said all of us, all of us should contribute our quota. Like me, I've contributed my quota. Four. And I don't want to have any more. And I have done family planning. Okay. Now, let yeah, me tell you something. Let me tell you quota. something else that the Bible says categorically concerning childbearing. Okay. In 1 Timothy 5 verse 8, the Bible stated it categorically. He said that he that is unable to provide for his own family, especially his immediate family, has denied the faith and is not worthy to live. Okay. So that simply means that you cannot bring forth children and not take care of them. Mm -hmm. So it simply means that wisdom should tell you to have the number of children that you can cater for. And so what do you do? You take primitive measures not to get unneeded pregnancy. So uh, are yeah, you encouraging the youth to make use of contraceptive? Not youth. Mother, okay. Please, not youth. Sex is not for youth. Okay. Sex is for married couple. And that has, that's the standard of God. He has not changed at any time. Because all this youth... Well, no, yeah, it was never recorded in the Bible where married couple use contraceptive. The Bible will not categorically begin to call it contraceptive. The Bible has already told you, if you can't take care of them, don't bring them So, as you mean I can take care of 20 children, I should go ahead and... Produce 20 children. Nobody is there. Yeah. As okay, much as, as, much as you can of take care of, care of them. Pocket. Your pockets. So, okay. bank so your, in, bank process, in, in, sorry, in this process, where, where if Buhari decides to have 100 children, that's his business. As long, even, in the, even in the Quran, even in the Quran, okay. Quran permits you to marry four wives, provided you can take care of the four wives equally without discrimination. Yeah, that's cool. But let's pause for a break. Okay. This is Afro Issues. Hi, this is Zach Oji, Nollywood actor and filmmaker. Keep watching and keep following Afro Issues. Afro issues. Welcome back. Thank you. So, Pastor Ebere, we know Christianity, uh, Christianity is not in unison with the um, use of contraceptive. So, how do you explain that? Well, um, based on the, our various levels of information, there are some sects, sects in the Christian um, belief who don't believe that. Um, there should be the use of contraceptives, like the Roman Catholic uh, Church. They rather believe in the use of safe period okay. for the woman. You know, there is this teaching they have on the Billings method, which teaches you on how to um, 
tabulate your cycles such that you know when you're free to meet with your husband and um, pregnancy will not occur. Okay, but generally, um, not every Christian sect believes that you shouldn't use contraceptive because the Bible already told us that if you cannot take care of them, you are considered as worse than an infidel. Okay, so um, that simply means that you should take measures not to get pregnant when you know that you are not financially buoyant to take care of them. Do you think abortion, can one offer abortion? Since you said you when, shouldn't you get take pregnant care of, the, of the baby. No, There's abortion is abortion not an option. Is, yeah. okay. Abortion is mother. As far as Christianity is concerned, abortion is mother. It's the, it's the deliberate extermination of life. I, I always I, I mm -hmm. beg to dis differ on that. I always think that a fetus is different from a life, a human being. It is when, the when fetus the Bible that say, produces life. Yeah, but as that is it's at, the, it's at the beginning, it's not yet a child. You don't like. It is the same fetus can, that you are putting that I is can, a I child can, that I can is give, coming I can give forth. A of reasons. It's just like you say, the cock or a, an egg is a cock. No, 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 it's, no, no. It's, 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 as a, stage, an egg that is already incubated. You can't eat it as an egg. No, it, if yeah. you allow the egg to be incubated and life starts growing, there is no more egg. As at the stage, I, as, I, as, think, as, I as, think it's where as at the stage, is coming. As at the stage where the egg is still there, it's yet it's just an egg. Besides, it's, it's, besides, if you're coming from that angle, because it doesn't follow. So coming from that <laughs> angle, because when God created us, mm. He gave us the authority to kill every other animal and use them as food. That's what I'm saying. And so it's, you it's, can't begin to create We are, not saying, we are not saying we should kill the egg. Even if I I'm, kill... I'm giving an instance Even if I kill a chick, it's still in the egg. I've not committed any crime because I have the right to kill a fowl. Strictly speaking. We are not generalizing it now. You can't call someone else's... That is that. There is so no way you can convince me that a fetus a is fetus, not a human being. A human being can live... A baby can live independent of the mother. A fetus cannot live independent of the mother. They are co-joined. They are intertwined together. Unlike a baby that can live independent. As at that time, you are the carrier of the baby. If you breed the baby, breed so if you eat the baby... So why doesn't your law permit the legal termination of life? That is, of that, that is why Nigeria has not got to that stage where they will be advanced. There are a lot of laws. I'm coming, I'm coming. In the that United even States... Even when that let, countries let, who have been practicing it are reverting No, let now. me tell you, in the United States... Because they are seeing the half of that in, is least, In the United States and the UK, we are in the United Kingdom, we are Nigeria and both their laws from. You understand? These yeah. two countries has gone on to say you must, you should abort. The Supreme Court decision in Texas has stated five to three that you should be able to abort your child. So, no, Barry, sir, are you saying now? It's you it, a mother has every right, should have every right, should abort it. To take that right from the mother is like taking the right of the woman not to live or not no. to decide. So now, it's are it's you saying no? You right are sorry. simply, you are simply sorry. saying to the Bible, the even the Bible, when the Bible says to play the role of God no, in the life you are not of playing, human beings. It's not true. What God what instructed is man to do is to procreate. Now, that, multiply. Now, the now, the, the, take life the baby life. can, the mother can procreate this particular baby, eh? No. And decide not to procreate this particular baby. You don't have such right. You have the right to no, decide. You, don't have you are not killing. Rights. The Bible did not say that shall not kill. When the Bible says that shall not kill, the Bible says that shall not abort. Um, to you, uh, Bryce, to Sam, there is something here that is confusing. You said um, a fortress is not a baby. This is not. Okay, fine. Pastor Abel is total is in total disagreement with okay. that. But uh, you are also telling us that there there is a stage where a fetus becomes a baby. So even at that stage, it's a baby and it gets terminated. Is in is this still not a crime? What I'm saying strictly is that the moment a child comes out from the mother, that is when you cannot terminate it. But since inside the mother, both of them are together, the mother should always have rights. To decide what she should do with her body. So you are telling us that you abortion is not you, mother. It's not, it's not, it can never be mother. Abortion there's is no, mother. There's no we are, Do you know that women, countless number of women have lost their lives in the process of abortion? Do you know that countless number of women has lost their life in the process of giving birth? So you does know it that mean you, we shouldn't give No, birth? that is why we say that. Does it mean that, that, that because, we because, not be because, out of procreation? No, what I'm saying is that the reason that countless number of women has 
lost their life in abortion is when they go through the wrong processes. If because they do it, if, the right if, processes. no, if you do it to them, a good medical doctor takes care of in advanced country. It's very, it's hardly before you report where a woman goes for abortion and she dies. Okay. They do it within two, three minutes or one hour. She's done. But when you are giving birth to a child, and life moves on as if nothing has happened. Because she should decide what she decides how to have sex. Tomorrow, she decides whether to keep the child. She jumps in again and has some illicit sexual activity. It is not. And she gets not, pregnant. Somebody decides to make it. We all know that. She does not like she have the choice to do it. Like insect. Okay. We all know that it's happening everywhere in the society okay. today. Okay. Where you get to see a father sleeping with a, 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 a girl child. Okay. And a brother sleeping with the sister, okay. and an uncle sleeping with the niece. Okay. Of course, we all know no one wants to have a baby with a blood relative. Okay. In because medically, medically speaking, itself is wrong. Okay. To okay. have a, to have a child with your, your blood relative is wrong. Okay. And because traditionally, the child is I think it's genetic. an abomination too. Okay. But that's in because that process, that's because our moral guards and standards have been so terribly deteriorated. Okay. In that, that process, what on when earth the lady gets pregnant? Can why the should she? Go for why abortion? should such even happen? Let's, let's, happen. let's nip these things right from the board. Let's get down to but the this, 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 this thing. This is this is this This thing has happened. From time in because, even in the Bible, it happened. Because parents, not are even even in the house. Let me let me take your mind back. Let me let me. The it is not even the work of parents. It is, is the who, whose work is no, it? No, let me the let, mates, let me come. Let me come. Let, let me take your mind even in Jewish religion, where it happened right under the house of David, where right, the brother went. Of course, he was punished immediately. No, no, it was not. It was not punished immediately. It he took, was killed. He was, it took two years. So the one that killed him. Two years. Yes, two for years, that two, same offense. Two years. And even for that same and, offense, and, and, when, and when the brother killed him, the brother has to run away. To show you that the, the killing of the brother was illicit. The moment he killed the bo the, she, moment, she the moment the moment the moment he had sex. Then that's what I'm saying. Make it right. Yeah. Raping his sister was a very wrong thing to do. But it was not condemned by as far as the, the even the, no. the in fact even if ordinarily if he had shown contrite spirit. He would have married the lady. Married his sister. Yes. That was his half sister. Okay. Yes. He was when such, no, that is why when if you remember Jonathan uh, 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 had to ask him, please uh, go and talk to your father to marry. But because she distested his sister. Okay, right now we need to get something clear. When such case happen and the lady is pregnant, what do you expect the lady to do? Abortion is the solution, it's the panacea to it. But pastor, there's no there's no there's no there's, there's, there's no there's there's because you are bringing it, you are bringing the child. There's a medical term for it, which I cannot recall right now. You are bringing the child, the child is for me. I would rather we we nip certain things right from the root cause rather than looking for uh, you know, um, curative measures. That is why. That is why. That is why. That is, why that, is, that is why. that is why. That is why. It's like parents saying parents should take charge of the children. It, giving it is not prevent, enough to bring no, no, no. Pray. I don't think that. I don't it agree with you. Enough. People prevent accidents, but when it happens, you must always have a panacea for yeah. that. Yeah. A curative measure for that. You don't just go say, okay, I want to travel. Of course, you drive for a you don't have accident. When the event of accident, what do you do? You should be able to have medics around. If such things happen, the solution is abortion. When so there's no two ways about it. You have bought the baby. Because once the baby comes out... We want to jump to abortion. But before God, it is wrong. It is never okay, wrong. The Bible has never said... The Bible has never okay, come okay, out and said, that shall not commit abortion. Just like you said, that shall not... No, it is a baby. An abortion is not a... And please, stop calling a fetus non-human. That is not... That is why they... We should also understand that this act is an abominable act. See, see, see. Let me get something straight. There is a distinction between a fetus and a baby. Okay. That is why they call one a fetus. They call the other a baby. Okay. Okay. While it is in the process, you understand? Because as, as at that stage, it's still a coming point. out as a human being, you call it fetus. That is why the moment that if you want to go back, that does not mean that it is not a human being. It is, because it the is, same fetus you are termi exterminating is what comes out as a human fledgling human being. That is at the process. I need you can. That is at the process. At that stage, it is not conclusive. A baby. Don't you think um, religious stance on the use of contraceptive and um, abortion has helped curb uh, this thing of unwanted pregnancy? I don't think so. In fact, alternatively, it has even made young girls lose their life. A young girl who is 14 or 15 that got pregnant, who now instead of telling the, telling the father and said, okay, daddy, I'm pregnant, and they look for a, an easy solution to that, she'll go and meet a quack. I don't think she dies. 
or probably even where she kept the baby, she ended up having his birth because of the drug she would have taken. That's why we shouldn't that even is, encourage pregnancy, why, teenage pregnancy in the first place at all, at all, at all. That is why, that is why once a baby has committed, once a young girl has, has taken in, it's proper she be able to talk to the father. That, that, that I'm pregnant, can I go to a good hospital where I can take care of myself? But how would you feel as a father if your child comes exactly. to you? I was that? going to ask you. Right now, I'm not yet. How would you feel? You understand? We don't That's don't, why you, you can talk. You understand? That's why you can talk we like that. We don't expect, but I should be able to. Imagine educate. my daughter coming to tell me, "Mommy, I'm pregnant. I want to carry her." That's okay. It's, it's, do, you know, do, 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 do you know? Do you know? Do, do you know why it's better? If you don't, if she, your daughter does not have my daughter, my son, she be able to have confidence in me as their father. I'll that. bring them. I'll bring them to that extent. If they have going through personal issues, emotional issues. They should be able to speak to me. So what, As, in a case where your uh, your a particular child of yours come to you like two times for abortion, what would the you first say? definitely there will be punishment for such offenses, okay. of course. As an African man, why but should definitely, you punish her? Listen, you listen. Go ahead yeah, that once, 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 once she has once she has committed, <laughs> once she has gotten pregnant, and probably let's say she's 16, 15, 17, Definitely, I will do the need for. And what is the need for? Abortion. There is no two ways about it. I let me take you back. Let me 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 Practice what she shouldn't practice. We don't. We cannot. Nobody can control. We have something. We can control no, them. Do you know why you cannot Start control your child? No. Do you know why, do, do you, know why you cannot control? Your, you can do I your. Can. You can do your best. To I have them. three daughters. Do you know why? I can tell do, you categorically. Do you know why? That I no. Bible said. The Bible said, train up a child. The way that child ought to go, that when the child is grown, he will not depart from that pattern. That, that pattern you know, the do, child's do, life. Do, 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 when do, the child is grown, he will not do, depart do, from do, it. Do, do, do you know the, it is I started do, buying for my children strictly for girls right from when they were five years do you know old. Do, 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 strictly for as soon as they could read. I began to teach them that no man, in fact, not just men, nobody should touch your private parts. Nobody. Do, uh, of course, I, I I have to commend you. Do you, you. know I, that I, in the pre in uh, um, grand great grandfather's time, you know, mm -hmm. in our culture in those days, it was a taboo for a woman to go to her husband and you have lost virginity. Do you know that? And do you know that in the past, in our, in, in our forefathers' time, there was nothing like abortion because they knew that. No, they usually have. They usually they give birth out of childbirth. They child, knew child, that child, there, there, it when, was not it even. Just it was not even a now. topic for discussion that a young girl had anything and, with and do you, any do you, man. And do you call it know that most young ladies then lost their life because they were looking for a quick fix solution, which went bad? Which quick fix? There you, was nothing you, like you, a, you know having that. pregnancy. And when no, they do, they do. When in your cause, of course, there was nothing like abortion. You, the man must marry the girl. There, there is a statistic you, that says you, in, in, you the you 80s, in the 80s, the eh, in the 80s, in the early 80s, what, what cost... The the, the, the the cause of death of your, of teenage ladies, eighty percent of them was caused by teenage pregnancy. But it doesn't happen now. No, because no, of no. they went and met they that went was 80s. in the eighties they I'm met talking they, of when my set of my mom that we are growing up that was nothing like abortion there was even the case of oh he got pregnant without being married it was not there because as they were growing. You are you have that orientation already yeah. that you don't have any business with a man that you're not married to. Right before we go, I have this question for you, Pastor Eberi. What is your your final advice for the viewers out there, the young ones? My advice is goes this way: for the young ones, there's this advert that they used to put on TV. I don't know why they took it off. My advice for them is to zip up. <laughs> Zip up until you get married because you will get tired of sex. Is it not this lifelong marriage we are into? You will get tired. You will, see. in fact, why do some women not want the husband? I'm sick here today and have headache tomorrow. You will get tired of sex. Don't rush into it. Keep yourself. When it's time, you get into it. That's my advice. And I'm, a second advice I have for the society is to try and educate our people more. It, like in the case of rape, a girl that gets raped 
should immediately report to the doctor and have a system cleansed off so that you don't end Which up with prevention. unwanted. That is, that is what God God gives. You don't us. end up with unwanted pregnancy. Leave one and alone. So what, what about what about again? you, Pastor Sam? What advice do you have for our youth? Because it's clear that you are in support of abortion. My advice is strictly. If you're, if you're, you're, if you're, if you're responsible, you think you want to have sex, you think you're responsible enough, you, you can take what is involved, go ahead, have sex. If you don't want to keep the baby, you can abort the baby. You understand? Even in the Bible, let me, let me add it. Jesus Christ says some they are born Enoch, and some they made themselves Enoch. The some, of, some people cannot keep themselves. They cannot, you cannot imagine a 27 year old man on, asking him not to have sex. You cannot imagine a 25 year old girl asking her not to have sex. Naturally, she will be unable to do it. But once she is unable to do it, she is free to do it. If, she, if the husband is not forthcoming, she can engage in it responsibly. If a baby comes out and she knows she doesn't want to keep it, the best thing possible is that she will look for a fix, fix solution. All right, thank it. you, Barista Sam. Let's leave the viewers to decide on what they want. So on that note, we've come to the end of this educating episode. Thanks, everyone, for joining me to throw more light on this wonderful topic. Thank you. Thank you. It's my pleasure. So, viewers, keep watching and keep following Afro Issues. I remain your beautiful host, Mosu Mary Jane.